so once you get a map, uh, you'll be able to just wander around the museum as you please. But I'm going to give you a little history as to how this museum came to be. Basically, for the last 20 years, we've been trying to get this museum open. Finally, in June of 2023, we were able to open our doors. So it's a very new and exciting place to be. We are located on Gadsden's Wharf, which is where about a third of all slaves that came to America uh, passed through in order to be sold. So they did come, there is this thing called the Tidal Tribute Pool right over here. This is a memorial for everyone who did not make it across the transatlantic journey. Uh, and it is definitely a place of deep reflection. Uh, you'll notice that it looks like there are bodies so, right over here, we have this uh, memorial to about 700 slaves were packed into a tiny, uh, like a warehouse, right? A storage house. And uh, 700 slaves perished right in this space. You can hear more about it on the other side of this memorial, but we decided to have this beautiful Miami quote right here. Uh, and it really is something, I, honestly, I spent a lot of my break just standing there and kind of being reverent of the pride and strength of my people, right? Uh, so yeah, so upstairs, we're gonna first give you all date. Your date passes allow you to get in and out of the museum, however you please, up until 4 p.m. Then uh, we close our doors, but you can stay until 5 p.m. Sound good? All right, you're gonna all go through security. Um, that's to keep us safe. Make sure that we all have your bags open, ready to be examined, because if you have nothing in your pockets, if you have like pocket knives or anything like that, you might want to keep them on the bus. Um, so definitely think of that now. 